Today we're gonna take a look at Reillusion and their latest brand new auto setup which simplifies character creation and crowd simulation in Max tremendously. The combination of Actor Core and iClone crowd simulation allows you to control a whole street with a ton of people with just a few clicks, all thanks to the seamless new system. We've actually worked with Reillusion on many videos, and it is no secret that I like their stuff a lot, from cartoon animator to character creator and they are constantly pushing the envelope and the boundaries and cutting all sorts of corners to make 3D artists' lives a lot more easier. Because if you don't know Character Creator and iClone, then you are probably missing out. Character Creator is, in particular, one of the best, if not the best, character creation solutions on the market right now. Whether it is for realistic or stylized characters, the software has you covered with a bucket load of sorts of features, like asset management, poses, animation presets, custom expression blend shapes, props editing, and so much more. And it works perfectly with iClone, Unreal, Unity, Blender, and all major 3D software out there. That's why in today's video, we're gonna check the new 3ds Max character pipeline which aims to accelerate both character and crowd production in general by leveraging a seamless integration between Max and Character Creator. So now you can completely bypass the extremely tedious exporting and reconstruction of material graphs in addition to scalar rigs. On top of that, Auto Setup helps you create amazing photorealistic renders using Arnold and V-Ray without the need for manual material graph setup. And this works with CC, iClone, and ActorCore. From what you can see, this significantly streamlines the character creation process, offering look dev essentials like lighting and PBR swapping, not just for the character, but you can also transfer props, animations, and entire scenes to 3ds Max. The PBR material workflow works for crowds, props, and whole scenes. For example, actor core crowd actors, in addition to models like clothes, accessories and props and scene elements can be applied in Cartoon Creator in addition to iClone. Aside from building the material graph automatically to accommodate the different render engines, it can prove matching PBR values like roughness, metallic, etc., which helps with consistency. The way Auto Setup speeds up the process is by automatically converting the CC Digital Human Shader into Arnold and V-Ray material graphs for hyper-realistic ray trace rendering. And through the Auto Setup plugin panel, you can easily tweak texture details for skin, eyes, hair, teeth, and tongue. And we'll see more of that in a bit. Generally speaking, the tool makes it super easy to work with iClone crowd simulations and iClone scenes as well as actor core characters and mocap animations. So you could use actor clone crowds to build your scene in iClone and export the FBX to 3ds Max. And thanks to the auto setup, you can retain all the materials, animations, models and props across another software which is just really helpful for people who use character creator, iClone and Max combo. But first, let's see how you can export a character from Character Creator and import it into Max. To get started, first install the plugin into Max. On the CC Auto Setup download page, you can choose between multiple versions. Pick the one that corresponds to the version of 3ds Max. And now, unzip the zip file and run the bat file, which will install the setup to your 3ds Max. And if everything is done correctly, you should see a new Reillusion item on top of the menu bar inside Max. Now, exporting from Character Creator is a fairly easy task. Just remember to set up the target tool preset to 3ds Max when exporting the FBX. And if you have an animation, make sure to set the frame range that includes your animation. Once in Max, from the Auto Setup panel, you will see a couple of tabs with relevant options like Import tab, Look Dev, Material, Face Rig, and so on. Under Import, pick a render engine. And right under that, you can click Browse FBX to import your exported model. After clicking the big import button, you will see the FBX import window and hit OK. Now your model is fully imported into Max, with all animations, materials, and maps perfectly in place. Plus, all facial morphs are set up and ready to go. Now, under the Look Dev tab, you have access to a number of convenient environmental, lighting, and render settings, which can give you professional results with a few clicks. Some are designed for the head and some for the full body renders, and these can be applied really quickly. 
there's also a Macbeth chart for color correction. And under the HDRI section, of course, you will find multiple HDRIs that you can choose from, or you can import your own. And of course, there are rotation and strength sliders, in addition to global exposure for exposure and white balance. The lighting setup presets all look amazing, and here are some examples, but you can also adjust the lighting and scene setup manually, which is interesting. Next, under the material tab, you can adjust materials of different body parts, and Character Creator has multiple body parts like body, eyes, teeth, and tongue. However, other model types may not have the same parts. And to control each body part, select the mesh from the outliner and its parameters will show up on the plugins window. So for instance, to adjust skin appearance, select the body mesh from the outliner. A collection of significant parameters will help you adjust and refine the skin's appearance like roughness, subsurface scattering, and wrinkles. Another example is the eye mesh, which has different components and parameters, such as iris, limbus, and sdera. The material parameters will also be different for each teeth, which can be adjusted for different effects. There are also some parameters over the sculpt and facial hair. For the wrinkles, there is a dedicated wrinkles tab under the materials tab with 13 defined areas which are enabled by default. And you can adjust each one of them from the drop down menu like eyelid crease, lip lines, smile lines, etc. And all of these come with a strength and speed parameters that you can adjust to control how defined and how quickly a wrinkle will appear in the defined areas. These wrinkles are in geometry and do not interfere with the texture maps. It's just a secondary texture layer that is somewhat procedural, and it helps you add much more depth and realism to your characters. Last but not least is the body rig. Auto Setup supports the Max Bipad and CAD binding systems. You can simply select the body mesh and click Create Rig to create a skeleton, which you can see under the outliner. Clicking Enable Rig will allow you to use the control scheme to easily select and adjust bones, including individual fingers. This robust tool can be used along with the face rig to easily pose the character. The face rig in particular is very extensive and can control many different expressions down to the eyelashes, teeth, lips, and so on. I didn't touch on all the features that this plugin brings to the table, like how to adjust the skin shader or how to import motion data from the character creator to breathe life into the character itself, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So if you find this interesting and you want to learn more about auto setup and character creator, I encourage you to use the link in the description to find more about details and tutorials on how exactly to use this powerful tool. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.